Hey, I'm here in North Van helping my in-laws move today and have uh, rented a truck that we can use. Uh, I'm wondering if we can figure out how much space is inside that thing in the, in the back. Let's go, let's go measure it up. Now, what I mean by space is actually we're talking about the mathematical term volume. When we figure out volume of something, we're talking about basically how many cubes of a certain size could fit inside there. This is approximately one foot by one foot by one foot. So it's about a cubic foot. So we're going to measure this. This is a rectangular prism. We're going to measure the dimensions and figure out what the volume of that, the back part is. Wait for the camera operator here. Rectangular prism is something that has rectangles per size. This thing more or less has six rectangles per size. Now we're going to measure the length of the thing here. I can hook that along there. And that is 16 feet. Now I should have known that because when I rented it, it said a 16 foot truck. So that's what they're talking about. I'm going to measure the width of it. The width is. Eight feet. Now we're going to measure the height of it. That might be a bit more difficult, but so that last dimension, the height is 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 seven feet. So how can we use that to figure out the volume, the space inside? Let's do that right now. All right, here we are looking into the back of the truck and we want to figure out how many of these boxes we can fit inside these one cubic foot boxes, right? They're one foot by one foot by one foot. Let's move one here and make it a bit bigger and see what I mean. So this is one foot high here and it's one foot wide and it's one foot from front to back. They're hard to see, but one cubic foot, all right? And we want to fi figure out how many of those can we fit inside of this thing? So we're going to kind of do it in a two-stage process here. If we can figure out how many of these boxes we can fit uh, on the floor of the thing in one layer. Let's say we packed one layer full here on the floor. Okay, How many boxes could we fit in there? We measured this thing to be eight feet wide and we measured it to be 16 feet from front to back. Now I didn't hold the tape measure perfectly straight in the video, but that's okay because it's a 16 foot truck. So if we know those dimensions, how can we figure out how many we can fit on this floor area? This whole thing is a rectangular prism and we can call this the base of the thing. This floor area is called the base. and We're gonna figure out the area of that base. Now what I mean here is we want to figure out here area of base. All right, so I'm going to flip to a, a web page here that's going to illustrate this a bit better so that we can see what's going on. And we'll come back to this and we'll, we'll write down a few things here. All right, so we'll flip over to our model here. Now, this is just a model of a prism where we can unfold the side so we can see what's happening inside and we can easily fill this up with smaller cubes. So this is a prism that is five units in length, or they call it depth here, four units wide and three units high. So if we get those two sides that we can see what we're doing. When we want to measure the volume of this, we want to measure how much space there is inside of the thing. Volume is how much space there is inside. All right. If you imagine how much space that, that box takes to fill up, that prism takes to fill up, what we're measuring is we're measuring how many little blocks can fit inside of this thing. So if I start counting these, this one particular one there, there's 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. It takes 20 little cubes to fill up one layer of this thing. Now that's not the whole box, but that's the, the one layer on the, on the base of the thing. Now that's how we're going to imagine this. If we can work out how many little blocks it takes to fill up one layer on the base of this thing, and then we know how many layers deep it's going to take, 
we're going to know its volume. So we just worked out that that was, it took 20 little cubes to fill up that space on the bottom. So one layer of that thing is 20 cubic units. So if each layer is 20 cubic units and I have three layers there, if each of those layers is 20 cubic units to fill this thing up, it's going to take 60 cubic units. That's going to give me my, my volume. All right. So if you can do this as, if you can figure out how much the area of this base is, this gray area is, okay, area of the base times the height of the thing, that's going to give you your volume. As long as each layer is the same, if each of these layers is the same, then it's going to work. If somehow we had a shape where each layer was a different size, it wasn't the same all the way up, this wouldn't work. This works because each layer is the same. 20, 40, 60, 60 cubic units. Now, if we were to make this the same as our truck here, eight wide, 16 in depth or length and seven high. Okay, that's pretty big there. Let's fold up a couple of the sides here. Now, there's gonna be a lot of little cubes it takes to fill up that truck, right? If we had our one cubic foot box. So let me just do that right now in super fast motion. Okay, there we are, there's one layer. Now this is 16 this way, times eight this way. 16 times eight happens to be 128. There's 128 little boxes in one layer, right? And then if we just keep adding on each layer, right? The bottom layer has 128 boxes, the next layer has 128. There's gonna be seven layers to fill up to the top. So as long as we know there's 128 boxes in one layer, seven layers deep, right? Or in other words, if we know the area of the base is 128 and the height is seven, that's our volume, right? Let's go back to our other screen here. All right, so let's move down here. If we wanna work out our volume, as we said there, as long as we know the area of the base, the area of the base would just length times the width. All right, as long as we know that area of the base, we're gonna use the symbol area of base with a subscript, what you call a subscript, some letters lower down here. Area of base equals length times width. Or you can use capitals if you prefer, if that L looks like a, a one. And we're gonna find our, our volume volume of that rectangular prism is going to be our area of the base times our height, right? Area of base times height. That's our formula we're going to use for any rectangular prism. In fact, we're going to use this for any prism at all. Anything where the, the shape is, every layer that you count is the same, like this one. So if we want here, we can write area of base times height, or we can actually put in what our area of the base is. It's length times width. And then I guess I should stick to, or I guess I should you know, change the H part way down. That's our volume. If we put our measurements in there now, our area of our base was, we had 16 feet, and we had times eight feet. And then our height was, seven feet. Our area of our base here, that stuff multiplies out to, as I said, 128. The area of the floor is going to be in square feet, feet squared. When you multiply feet by feet, you get square feet. And times seven feet in height here. This is our area of our base, area of base times height. Now, if we multiply that out, what are we gonna get here? Well, let's uh, grab the calculator for that one, just to make sure. Uh, if we have 128 square feet and we multiply that by seven feet, we get 896. 896. Now, if we multiply square feet by feet, or if you look back at the beginning here, we have feet times feet times feet. If we multiply 
three dimensions that are all in feet, we get cubic feet. Volume is measured in cubic units. That's the volume of our of our truck, right? That's how many individual little one foot cubic boxes we can we can fit in there. All right, that's what volume is. It's how much space is inside there. This is how much space. It'd be 120, or it'd be 896 of those of those boxes. All right. So for volume of a prism, this is going to be our approach. Our approach is going to be using this idea here. If we can find how many fit in one layer, and then multiply it by how many layers we have, that's how you find that volume. All right. That's it.